Since the release of Unreal Engine 5, update after update, Unreal Engine has gotten new features that let you do what you would normally do in DCCs like Blender. And the list keeps growing on top of all the features that Blender does not have. Usually, when we are comparing Blender to other DCCs, Blender always comes out favored because of its $0 cost price. But Unreal Engine is also free, at least until you are very, very successful. And at that point, even when you only use Blender, it's likely you are using it with paid add-ons. So today we are going to explore the future of Blender and Unreal Engine and try to answer the question, is Unreal Engine a great alternative to Blender? I have always wanted to make motion graphics and as a Blender user, it's been a struggle. Blender has an extensive list of modifiers for modeling, but nothing for motion graphics. Of course, you can stack and mix different modifiers until you get something interesting, but you are still limited in what you can do compared to other applications like Cinema 4D. Cinema 4D has been unrivaled at motion graphics until now with the new release of a new motion graphics mod for Unreal Engine, which puts Unreal Engine another step ahead of Blender. There have also been some moves towards polygon modeling in Unreal Engine 5, though these tools are not comparable to Blender's extensive modeling tools. One area where I find Unreal Engine becoming a better option for artists is when it comes to rigging. If you are making rigs for games, it goes without saying, Unreal Engine's automatic rigging tools are the way to go. Before these tools, all rigging was done in an external application like Blender or 3ds Max or Maya, and these rigs could not be exported into Unreal with constraints or IK controls. The only option you had was making your animation to keyframes before you exported it. But now with Unreal Engine, if you have an amateur, you can set up IK controls within Unreal Engine and these rigs can work with other Unreal Engine systems, like you are able to use the rig to detect grounds and walls. Basically, they support collision detection. If you are a studio or making a movie, Blender still provides the best options and customization for animation and rigging, but you have to put in quite a lot of work. Even when you use the Rigify add-on, you still have to put in quite a lot of work to get it to work with your model. In the future, I can see Unreal Engine becoming a great option for individual artists or small teams and studios, as their automatic rigging system is the best among any other DCCs I've tried. This also guarantees that your rig will work with other tools in Unreal Engine like animation targeting where you can easily transfer your animation from one character to another in just a few clicks and all the animations will be transferred. Another tool that can be extremely useful to animators is motion matching. Most animation is made as a series of animations like a character running, a jumping animation, a boxing animation, walking and more. These are then put together to make a complete story. Putting them together is easy. The hard part is the transition states from one animation to another. Unreal Engine has a great solution for that, where it can create the missing states or animations between the different loops to make the whole sequence smooth. Though everything Unreal can do, Brenda can also do and sometimes do even better. The major difference is how many clicks you need to make to get the results. For studios with dedicated skilled animators, Blender or other DCCs are always going to be the the best option since applications like Blender give you more control and the animation and modeling tools are going to be more mature than Unreal's new tools. I think the selling point of Unreal is that while the quality is not meant for television or film, you can achieve usable results in a matter of minutes without too much setup and sometimes you are able to achieve movie-like renders that rival what you get with Psychos and EV or any offline render engines. Just take a look at some of the demos that have been done with Unreal Engine. And if you're comparing Unreal Engine to EV, Blender's render engine, Unreal Engine is going to produce better results thanks to Lumen, Nanite, and other features that EV struggles with, like reflections and volumetric fog. I can go on and list hundreds of other reasons why Unreal Engine is a great alternative to Blender, but there are also other reasons why Unreal Engine is unusable without a 3D application like Blender. So the point of this video is to show you that as an artist, you should not be married to any application and always look for tools that can better your craft. And right now, Unreal Engine is looking quite sexy. Just try comparing the sky texture from Blender and the sky system with Unreal Engine. With just a few clicks, you can set up a complete sky system with clouds, daytime and nighttime scene 
using Unreal Engine and that will give you everything in real time including lighting with contact shadows, reflections, god rays, animated procedure clouds and more. With Blender, this type of results are only achievable with add-ons like Pure Sky Pro. And let's not talk about tessellation and displacement in both applications. Though Blender has a displacement modifier, it can be expensive to use as you need to have a highly subdivided object to get these details to show. With Unreal Engine, because of its nanite feature that works in on vegetations as well now, you can have way much detail on your models without it costing you hours of render time. There are also other features that Blender simply doesn't have like Parallax Occlusion and rendering. That can be another layer of detail you can add to your renders, unless if you use an add-on like Parallax Occlusion for Blender. Fortunately, you don't have to give up Blender to work with Unreal Engine. You can always use these applications hand in hand. And nowadays, it's a lot easier to exchange data between different applications. So anyone who wants to render something really quick at high quality, I would recommend trying Unreal Engine. The future of Blender is a combination of Blender and different applications like Unreal Engine. Thank you for watching. Let me know your thoughts and if you have tried out Unreal Engine, what major differences or advantages do you see that it has over Blender? See you in the next video.